Hey guys, how to do a PHP data object connection and perform select insert update and delete? What is bind param and bind value anyway? How important is it? Well PHP data object PDO, it is a database access layer providing a uniform method of access to multiple databases. It helps you protect from SQL injection also and it supports variety of databases like Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, MongoDB and much more I guess. So today we'll dig into how to do PDO connection and perform DML operations also on it. The pattern to follow is prepare, bind and execute. So let's start. Alright so I have now open up my code editor. We are going to open the project folder that is PDO in my case and we'll qu quickly create index.php file. And the first step we are going to do is to create a PDO database object. Let's name it db is equal to new PDO. The first parameter is connection string that is first argument is database driver for in our case it is mysql host is equal to localhost as i am running out on a local machine local host database name that is db name is equal to let it be pdo second parameter is username in my case it is root and third parameter is password so we have database object over here now let's run that php project and we don't have any error but let's say if i made mistake by connecting to wrong database it will give throw an exception and we should always it's a bad good practice to keep it in try catch block and always log the errors and now if I try to connect to wrong database it will throw an error so and we can catch it so now here it is our database object and as I told in the last slide of my introduction that we have to follow pattern of prepare bind and execute so we'll first of all prepare the query Let's take a variable q is equal to dollar db prepare select star from now I already have the database PDO and I already have table users and I have few records around 14,000 something and you can set up your your database select star from PDO and that's it for now I don't want to specify any parameters the second step was to bind but in first case we don't have any parameters to bind here but later we will cover it in insert update and delete the third step is to execute now as this is a select query it will execute in MySQL database but it will not return us the data over here we need to fetch it so let's take a record variable and fetch all method we can use to fetch all the records or we can use fetch method fetch method in for each loop to fetch rows one by one and let's try to print that record variable and we don't have anything select star from users sorry and we have data here yeah. now to format it I'm using pre tag Okay. 
now as you can see we are getting two time columns in each record duplicating the columns by column name and column index but we don't want that we sometimes we only want just by column name or column index so over here in fetch all function you can specify a flag video fetch num it will only fetch with column index and if you want by column name you can use assoc associative also if you are a object oriented geek you can use fetch class and it will fetch it into object and you can just do for each and then just column name but here i am not doing for each and you can just print out like this if it was associative array we cannot do this way we have to use an array syntax okay so this was for how to fetch the record with simple select statement the next step we are going to learn is how to fetch record one by one we'll use while loop to fetch record let's say dollar row is equal to the q of fetch and over here we will print out the row i want it to be nice format look so i'll do wrap it into pre tag between the pre tag and again we have two columns in each record two time columns repeating in each record by name and by number index so here also we can specify the flag video fetch associated okay so this is going to fetch record one by one all right now for insert update and delete we require parameters to be passed along with the query in case of video rather than directly passing the parameter into query we will use the bind method and it is very powerful it helps in sql injection it helps in performance when we want to execute multiple times same query and with different parameters of course and it helps to keep the code clean remember a pattern prepare bind execute now there are two methods bind value and bind param with bind value you can pass both values and variables with bind param you can only pass variables not values because bind param binds the value with the reference of the variable and not to the value of the variable passed it takes the value from the reference only at the time of execution so let's say if you bind a parameter with a variable which has no value inside it and before executing it you change the value of that variable then the actual value will be the variable which was filled with before execution hope you got my point so let's start using bind value and bind param let's prepare a query first of all dollar q is equal to dollar db insert into users now fields are now our fields are i remove some extra fields because i don't want too much of fields here right now username and number hmm 
Now notice something here. We are not directly passing the value. We will pass the question mark and we will bind that space with the value we want to insert. And it is respectively matching to the field name. Username is for first question mark. No is for second question mark. So let's bind the value for those. First question mark we have username let it be taste and the third argument is type flag pdo param str because it is a string type now if you want to check more about these flags you can just go to php.net manual and you will find you can search for pdo pdo param tags you will find some but most in most of the cases we use string and integer also for date you can use string second parameter is number so we'll pass some number now first step is done prepare bind second part is done execute and that's it it will insert the data into the database now let's say if you want the last insert id how we'll get it but like this not this sorry db you can always get the last insert id from the reference of database not from the query database last insert id let's try it out call to member function bind value on a non object uh, i think i have made one mistake all right so this is the last inserted record id and you can check it by going on the last record here we have test now this is hard coded value binding binding and sometimes you have array of values and in that case i would suggest you to use bind param or bind value will also work let's let's see for both let's make an array of data is equal to array data is equal to i have let's say taste and whatever i'll do this couple of time couple number of times just dummy data Okay, now we we'll loop through this array of data. And what I want is to insert each of the values in that array. now i am going to replace this with the value of of course first index and this is going to be value of second index and yeah that's it 
with our old mysql i query we have to write this whole query in the loop in order to insert multiple data but in case of pdo you can just bind the values prepare the query for once only and bind the values execute it that's it let's try this one and yeah we have the records i guess yep let me delete it again and show you the demo of bind param now in bind param we don't need to bind the value each time in the loop we can just bind it once with with two variables let's say a name or user name let it be null for now empty string for now and no let it be empty string for now and you can just bind this here and remember not bind value but bind param now over here before execute statement we can just do username is equal to dollar value of 0 no is equal to dollar value of 1 and this will also do the trick and remember we are not binding the parameters in each loop now we are just changing the value in the reference the bind param has let's try and you will see again we'll get here and this one is much faster in case of multiple datas you should use this so i hope you got what is the difference between bind value and bind param if you have any queries put down them in the comment section and also i'll share the link of this project in the description below so si similarly you can use this one for update update queries also update set username equals to question mark where id equals question mark and you can just do bind value or bind param bind value one the username you want to bind and the second bind value with the second question mark and you can just execute and it will work and it is safe you are not uh, vulnerable to sql injection and it is fast and it is nice weight nice code actually clean code so that's it for now thank you very much you guys are fantastic